hi guys welcome back to my channel and let's get right on into it love and hip-hop season two episode nine let's get into the foolishness y'all all right let's start off with milan and amber milan is in the studio with this hot ass fur hoodie on i know he hot he's trying to get it going and she walks in so he basically informs her um, yes, we're in love. Yes, we've talked about being married. And she's just like, okay. And he's like, yes, we have tattoos. Um, I, I take care of everything for Miles. And she's like, what do you mean? Like, what? He's like, okay, his school, his car, all his financial stuff. He lives with me. She's like, well, you know, you know, he actually paid my rent. He's like, yeah, I know. Yeah, I paid it twice. That, 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 came from, that came from my money. That came from my paper. Not his. I got you. She was absolutely blown away finding all this information out. Girl, he also went in and told her how, you know, Miles has been saying that she's like, he's trying to get rid of her, but she's kind of like, you know, like clinging to him and doesn't want to let her him go. Needless to say, she was just like, you know, I wish things didn't go the way they did. You know, I wish he would have been honest. Um, and he basically told her, listen, that wasn't my, I didn't have no motive against it. I didn't even know that you didn't know. I didn't even know what was going on. He was telling me one thing when it was actually another. So let's just hug it out and be done with it. So they hugged it out. It just seemed real rushed. Um, but she got all the information she needed to get from him. I mean, he put it out there very quickly, like five seconds. It was out. So then she goes and talks to Tierra Marie and... Monice. She goes and just meets up with them quickly for lunch and just kind of informs them what's going on and she's basically like, yeah, girl, she, he was doing this and I don't even know who this man is. Yes, he, he loves my daughter and he's been there for my daughter ever since she was a baby, but I don't know who this man is. The man that I know is not who he is. He's lied to me. He's done all this stuff and I'm not sure, but one thing I am sure about is I'm going to go and meet with him. Let's fast forward at the very end. You see the meet up and she's basically just getting him to say what she already knows what she already uh, information that she got from Milan she just wants to hear Miles say it. so he basically says yes I'm in love with this guy I've been here with him for two years and she's like yeah let me see the tattoo and she's like pulling at his shirt tugging at his shirt trying to get this to see this tattoo and he's like you know chill out and he's like you know I, I never did anything to hurt you intentionally and she's like what are you talking about stupid yes you did and she's like going off and she's like I don't want to talk no more I'm mad at you right now I'll get over just give me my time and um basically that was it she was done i'm glad that that part of it's over because this is now being drawn out like this particular episode with them that little bit whatever that was could have been put on the last episode it really didn't need to be drawn out to this episode but hey that they're just trying to you know do what they need to do let's get on into willie willie and his wife y'all i do not remember her name i never remember her name out of anybody's name i really can't remember her name but anyway willie and his wife so basically willie is still trying to get out of this contract so he goes and gets some advice from omarion which you know i love omarion i love him and april and the advice they give throughout all this ratchetness so he basically gave him a little bit of advice and said hey you know i know where you where you where you are right now i was there just you know a couple of years ago where i was trying to get myself back out there from being in this boy band and you know trying to get my own career popping off like i really wanted to and you just got to just continue to work at your craft and eventually the success will come so he basically was just letting him know like i feel you you know it's gonna come you know just chill and then he basically just asked him like have you ever lied to april and he kind of like swayed away from that answer but he basically was like i, I get it i understand you don't want you know wifey to be upset and you don't want her to get all worked up so you're trying to make moves and let her know on the surface that everything's okay when it's really not so that was that so then um after that he meets with his wife they're at like this little kid bouncy house something or other and basically she asked him so hey what's going on with this contract did you go ahead and talk to Screwface? what's going on what's popping and he's like everything's good everything worked out great everything is fine i'm out of the contract lies 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 he is nowhere near out of this contract and he decided to lie to her ass because he didn't want her on the pole he didn't want her to be stressing out about this situation so he decided to lie and like i said you know 
in the background trying to figure out how the hell he gonna get out this contract because he's still not out of this contract. Then he goes and blows up Screwface's phone and then they finally meet up. So now he's like, where you been? I've been calling you, da 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 He's like, hold on with all this energy, man. I'm working, you know, I'm busy. I'm making moves. I got a job. So what you want? <laughs> he's like, you know, I need you to get me out of this contract. I went over there to a boy and he's telling me no. And he's like, well, look, I can't do too much for you unless... You know, I'm, you're going to either be 100% with me, like, I need to manage you, or I can't do nothing else for you. I just can't be giving you homeboy advice. Like, this is my job, and I can't do that, you know, so you need to let me know what you want to do. He goes on, and he decides that he's going to make Screwface his manager yet again. So he's like, don't worry about it. This contract, I'm going to get you out in 24 hours. Sure enough, popping bottles, he gets this dude out the contract, and he is super excited. But wait. Let's rewind it. Willie's wife comes to the label and she wants to bring Willie. She wants to take Willie out to lunch. Not bring him some lunch, but she wants to take him out to lunch. And she, who does she see? She sees Screwface. She goes ahead and chops it up with Screwface and is like, hey, you know, I'm coming to take my boo out. You know, what he doing? He's like, yo, I thought earlier he was going to chop my head off. And she's like, what you talking about? And then Screwface, old blabbermouth ass, goes ahead and tells her everything tells her that she he is still not out of contract and he's stressing out and this is that and the third but he was like if you want to see him he in the studio and she's like no i'm good i'm good don't and don't tell him i came either don't don't tell him i came i'm good y'all have a good day <laughs> so you know where she going back on the pole i mean with not five seconds that chick was on the pole she was making moves talking to nikki baby and get her ass back into some type of strip of establishment and doing what she knows how to do best so she feeling some type of way so she went and did what she knows how to do to how she knows how to survive and make money you know he actually got out of the contract he actually really got out of the contract he got out of the deal um but the fact of it is that he lied so she's like you know what to complete that game i'm about to go lie and get back on this pole when i told you i wasn't <laughs> so then let's go into monice monice has came to the realization that her mama don't give a shit about her like her mama is out to get her um she was talking to richie and they were just trying to, you know, just go over everything that all the information that she just got recently from Richie and from Drew. And she's just like, I just came to the realization that she don't give a damn about me. She never was here to support me. And I'm thinking we're good. Now I'm getting all this information from y'all. And she don't care. Nobody cares. She don't care. You know, so she goes and scream. She didn't say that, but she goes in the bathroom and she's screaming. And Rich is like, you know, it's too early in the morning for this goddamn shit, man. I gotta, I don't got time for this early in the morning. So he goes and consoles her and he's like, listen, I really think you should go and talk to your mother and I'll be there as a mediator, as a support, as your support system to find out why, what's her motive? Like, why would she say the things that she said to the two men that's, that's in, that's in your life right now? You know, like, why would she do that? So she's like, whatever. So they actually meet up. She comes over to their house and she, let me tell y'all, like 100%. The way she was talking to those boys, the way she was talking to Richie, and the way she was talking to Drew, and then how she, when Monice tried to confront her on those particular scenarios, how she kind of was backpedaling, and she was apologizing, and it was just like, what are you doing? Like, own it. Own what you said. Yeah, you know what? I did say that. I don't think this about you, and I did tell him this because I feel like he should know this, and he, maybe he shouldn't be with you. Be real, because that's what you're basically saying. I don't think you're a good mother. Yeah, Drew should take the baby away from your ass because you don't know what you're doing. Don't go now in front of her face, and all of a sudden now you want to backpedal and apologize. Like, be real. You're her mom. She needs you to keep it real and 100, but also what she needs is that support system, and you know, she, Monique knows. She could, you could tell by the way she was looking like she wasn't even giving her mom full eye contact she looked at it and she looked off somewhere else that she, she know her mama is no good and she know her mama is really not about her and trying to um be there for her so she's just like you know what whatever i got my answers all right cool so let's talk about this whole tiara marie princess hazel e situation so first Tierra Marie goes and gets the lipo. She gets the fat sucked out of her stomach. And it looks like she got some out of her chin as well. Um, her sides and legs and all that kind of stuff. I, I don't know about y'all. Raise your hand if you're sure. But, I don't know if y'all remember that. Um, but, seeing somebody get that liposuction procedure, that is like the most, like, nauseating thing. Like, I get so sick looking at them jam that i mean you know what i'm oh 
anyway <laughs> so she basically gets that done and she comes out of recovery and she's at home and she's in pain she's in a lot of pain y'all she's like this is too much for me i don't know what i'm gonna do um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it because I mean the recovery is supposed to be one week the fashion shows in two weeks And I don't even think I can be able to do anything. So they're like, you know, you know what? Yeah, we, we just we'll just try to see what you could do from the bedside um, And you go ahead on take your medicine get you some rest so they They when I say they Hazel E and Nikki baby go outside and she's kind of just talking like, you know I feel bad because she is really in a lot of pain. Hazel E is a sneaky ass chick, like for real. She goes and she has this conversation with Princess and she's telling, you know, us in the commentary, like, I really want to tell Princess that, you know, Tierra got this lipo done because she's sitting up here calling her fat bitch and all this kind of stuff. She's like, I was holding my tongue to really tell her that, you know, but I ain't that type of girl. I'm like, girl, bye. And then she tells her, you know, she came and met with her because princess is trying to have her clothing line now she's done with Ray. she's trying to do her she's trying to figure out her career and she wants hazel e's help because she knows she's into all that kind of stuff so she can help her with um launching and she has this new um company that's all about women empowerment and everybody kind of working together with their businesses and all that kind of good stuff and sharing resources and all that good jazz so she wants um Hazel E to help her with that. So Hazel is like, you know what? Yeah, it's cool. You know, I did hear about that whole riffraff between you and Tierra Marie, but you know what? It ain't, has nothing to do with me. That's not going to, you know, stop us from going forward. It's all business. At first, I thought she was real businessy, but then when I started to really listen to her, and then I heard how Princess kept on calling, like she was digging for Tierra. She was calling Tierra Fat B. She said, I can't even pick her up. I don't trust her as far as I can throw her, and I can't even pick that big B up. And how Hazel was just kind of like looking and smirking and kind of like looking to the side and not really like, you know what, that's my friend now. Chill out now. That's my girl. I understand. And I ain't trying to get in between it, but that is my girl. Like she ain't say none of that. And that's what made me realize when she had the conversation with um, Nikki Baby about, hey, let's go ahead on and partner Princess in the, in the mix because she has her swimsuit line and we can kind of make this like a big huge production with all this stuff with your stuff her stuff and even nikki babe was like wait wait wait. i know them two have beef so i'm not trying to get in the middle and then hazel basically was persuading her like hey when the whole thing was going on with bird tiara marie still was working with him and trying to get a track and you know you know get him to produce her so that was business so why we can't have no business and that's when i kind of figured you know what yeah she trying to she trying to be a little sneaky snake she's trying to be a little sneaky snake you know we're gonna see how that works out and you know what that is it guys this episode was eh, it was all right i'll say it was a four out of ten let me know what you guys think i still cannot remember willie's wife's name but let me know what you think about that whole thing with her how she just went back ahead and went and did what he said not to do, which was go back and strip. And she didn't even want um, his new manager, Trueface, to even tell Willie that she was there. Like, how would you think about that whole thing? All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for riding with me and watching these videos and thumbs upping and commenting and, and keeping in touch with me on all of my social media, Instagram, um, Twitter, Facebook snapchat all of that i appreciate y'all don't forget to thumbs up comment share this video and subscribe if you have not i appreciate you guys for watching and until next time peace later